we'll talk about adding request user so you click on request user administration get to the tool there you pick a schema repository pick next and then you enter the username and password the of the user administrator um, and then you go to user action on the form that appears there and say add user At this point you start typing in what the login name of the user is going to be uh, the user's password um, you had to confirm it a second time and then the name of the user um, the email address of the user so that they can get notifications based on rules that we write and also that uh, any other information uh, specifically the phone number um, those are all um, for more info on the user um, and then you also put a description so that it's easy enough to add any information department or anything regarding that in addition you also had to pick groups but groups um, in this situation there is only one group which is everyone but you could actually create multiple groups and you can assign it so like you could create groups called developers uh, managers um, and you can also say uh, quality test team all that that can be added and these users can be made member of those groups um, to, give, to allow them to take some action um, you can also use LDAP if you have LDAP that you're using uh, to authenticate the user. In this case, we don't. Then you also have privileges. You can give different privileges. Generally, it's the um, you know the general um, as a user, but you could also make them a user administrator and other stuff. You could also select select a database at the minimum one database so that you'll be able to um, subscribe this user to that database. But also, and as you can see, there is groups underneath. So if you want, you could add it there. As a last step, you have to upgrade the the database. So only where the user will have access to the to the database. So you say upgrade, and then when you now double click on the user, you'll actually see all the information um, that we filled in there. Then you say okay, um, and then so that actually, you know, what it does is it allows the user now to be able to log in using the username you provided and the password that you just typed in initially the user can always change it which is you go to create first designer and then from there pick the schema and then you say uh, we enter you log in there and then you'll be able to tools user administration which is exactly the same um, form you, you know it's just a different way of getting there um, I think that's the end of creating a user um, thanks for watching and then um, for any questions or any other additional information go to scmsolution.com we have a lot of information there um, um, we also have a cm hosted solution uh, where you know what we call SAAS